everyone, I'm Lara from GoSimply.ca and today I have an upper body workout that you can do while seated. We're going to be doing three groups of two exercises, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds break uh, in an A-B format. You will need a chair to sit on and hopefully a couple of different sizes of dumbbells. I've included a short warm up and a cool down so you don't need to worry about adding any of those. I'm going to get my timer started and then we'll go ahead. Okay, so we're going to get started with our warm-up here. First thing is an arm swing up and then out. So up over your head and then pull out to the side. So we're doing our warm-up exercises for 30 seconds each. No break in between. We're just going to go right into the next one. So we're not doing them quickly here. We're just trying to increase range of motion. So next up we have shoulder rolls, so just backwards and then forwards. So while we're sitting in the chair, we're trying to have good posture as best we can. So that means holding our core tight, making sure we're sitting over our hips, over our hip bones. Next up, we just have wrist circles, so holding your arms out in front and circle one way and then circle the other way. You can make your hands into fists if you want to or you can leave them open, whatever works for you. Again, we're just working on range of motion here, bringing a little bit of warmth to our upper body so it's not cold when we're lifting weights. Now we're going to do some full arm circles, and again, just forwards and backwards. I guess I did the opposite of what I just said, but one, one time you want to go in the forward motion, and then the next time in the backward motion. So you're alternating which direction you're going every time. Just a couple more seconds here. Next, we're going to do a shoulder protraction and retraction, so reaching forward and then pulling back and really squeeze those shoulder blades together. Pull forward, separate those shoulder blades, and then squeeze them together. Separate and squeeze. So just bringing some space to that upper back. And our last warm up is a shoulder press and then pulling down and really squeeze when you push up, squeeze, do it nice and slow and then squeeze on the way down and pull the shoulders down. So nice full range of motion here, arms totally up straight and then pull them down to even right in touching your side. This is not about speed, it's about range of motion. So that's our warm up. Make sure that you've got some weights ready and we'll get started with the workout. Okay, so hopefully you have some weights ready for you here. We're starting with bicep curls. So I'm going to do a hammer curl style because it's easier on the side of the chair here. So I'm using 10 pounds. Just to give you a guide, you lift whatever feels comfortable for you. Remember, we're doing these for 45 seconds a piece, so that is a pretty decent long time. It's about enough time to get, I don't know, let's say about between 8 and 10 repetitions of each exercise done. And the last two repetitions should be quite challenging to complete. If they're not, then you could definitely be lifting a little bit heavier. So while we're doing this, we've got a tight core, good posture. Shoulders down and back. Okay, now you've got a 15 second rest. So you can put your weights down somewhere. Next up we have an overhead tricep extension. So I'm going to rotate just in my chair to show you what it looks like from the side. So arms up. And you're going to dip down behind your head. 
and then lift them up as close to straight as you can. So again, you want good posture. You don't want to be hunching forward, and you don't want to be arching back either. Arching is very challenging for your back when you're lifting weights. It puts way more stress on your back than is necessary. So keep those abs tight to protect it. So 45 seconds starts to feel pretty long. <laughs> Going back to those bicep curls if you need to change your weight that's fine you'll notice I've just put an extra set of dumbbells at the side here I'm not standing up or doing any cardio so that's not a danger issue when I'm sitting and back to those bicep curls and the second time through will definitely feel a bit more challenging we've uh, already done this exercise once before plus we've done the triceps which is the assisting muscle group in a bicep curl so now both of those muscles are feeling tired, both the primary muscle and the assisting muscle. So it's definitely harder. If you need to drop your weight, that's totally fine. Even if you need to go with no weight and you just keep doing the motion, it's still good work for your muscles. It is worth the effort to keep trying. Eventually you'll be able to lift a little bit more and then a little bit more. So take a little break, let those arms have a little shake out. I'm going to turn to the side again for those tricep extensions. Your triceps are smaller, so you may need less of a weight for this one. Arms up. Remember, dipping down and then straightening up. Trying to keep those upper arms pretty close to your ears. And I'm going to keep looking forward here because it's better for my spine to have good alignment. Just a few more seconds here. You're doing a great job. Okay, taking a break. Now we're moving into group, uh, group two here. So if you need to take a water break, go ahead and do that. Okay, we're gonna get started with the next group. Our first one is a shoulder press. So make sure you've got your weights ready. You got them up at your shoulder and you're going to push straight up and then slowly lower down. I'm using 10 pounds for this exercise. You can lift whatever feels comfortable for you. Maybe for the first round through you can do 10 and then the next round through you have to drop to 8. That's totally fine. You need to pick a weight that's challenging but that you can still use proper form. Proper form is always more important than lifting more weight. I'm definitely feeling this. I may need to drop for the next round. Okay, so give your arms a little shake out. The next exercise we have is a bent over row. Usually for a bent over row, you can lift a fair bit heavier than a lot of exercises. So you're going to bend over. I'm going to come to the edge of my chair and then lift your arms, your elbows up and behind you and then back down. I'm going to, it's challenging a chair, but I'm going to turn off to the side to show you sort of the side angle. I can't turn totally sideways because of the back of the chair. So even though we're bent forward, we still have a nice flat back. There's no hunch at the top. Okay, so 
we're going to take another break here, and then we're going back to that shoulder press. If you need to drop your weight, that's fine. I'm going to try to keep going with my 10. It's very heavy, though. I might have to switch halfway through the interval, and that's fine. Let's go ahead and get started. So I like to breathe out on the exertion of an exercise. So when I'm pushing up is when I'm breathing out, and when I'm coming back down is when I'm breathing in. This is getting quite challenging for me here. I'm going to see if I can keep going. We've got just 10 seconds left here. Let's see if I can do one more. Whew, that was really challenging. <laughs> so next up we've got that bent over row again. So again, a lot of people can lift much heavier for this exercise. You do what works for you. I'm going to turn sideways again, because I'm bent over, my back is flat, and I'm pulling sort of up and behind a bit. I've got my abs tight, and I'm sort of picking a spot ahead of me, but still on the floor, so my neck isn't cranked up like this, and at the same time, I'm not looking down at my feet. Just trying to keep good alignment. Just 10 more seconds. See if you can keep it up. Good, that was the end of group two. So now we're gonna take a quick water break before we start group three. Okay, let's go ahead and get ready for our last two exercises here. I'm using a much lighter weight this time, and we're starting with a front raise. Now, these are very small muscle groups we're working now for a front raise, and then we'll be doing a side raise after this one. So I have dropped to five pounds. You may find that after working a lot of other muscle groups in this workout that even five pounds is heavy. That's okay. If you're lifting three pounds, great. If you're lifting one pound, excellent. If you're not lifting any weight, you're still getting a good workout for those arms. So again, we're trying to have good posture. Abs are tight. Okay, give those arms a little rest. Roll out your shoulders if you need to. And next up, we're doing a side raise. I'm going to stick with my five pounds and see how I do with that. Okay, so now I've got arms at the side. Lift them straight up. Come back down. So remember here, speed isn't as important. We're not trying to get 25 or 30 reps in, in this 45 seconds. We're trying to get in you know, eight or ten well done reps. So they're with perfect form. If your form can't be perfect anymore, then you need to drop your weight. And that's okay. Like I said, doing this without weight is still an excellent workout. We don't want to beat ourselves up over not being able to lift a lot of weight. Okay, take a quick uh, break. We're going to go back to the front raise. I'm going to try and stick with my five pounds again for this last front raise. And remember, if you need to drop to no weight, fine. We need to not beat ourselves up over how much we can lift and not lift. In fact, I even find that from day to day, depending on what I've done before now, if I've been playing with my kids or running around the house and cleaning or, or 
whatever, and I find that, hey, yesterday I could do this exercise with eight pounds, today I can only do that with five. Why? Well, because your body's a little more tired, and that's okay. You're still working it. As long as it feels like an effort to you, then you're getting a good workout. And that's the important part. Be proud of yourself for doing it. Okay, another quick break, and then our last exercise before our cool down. So we're doing that side raise one more time. Okay, arms at the side. Lifting straight out. And back down. So seated workouts are really great in case you, um, maybe yesterday you did a really hard lower body workout and now even the thought of standing is somewhat challenging. Or maybe you have an injury you're trying to get over, you have a knee injury or an ankle injury, maybe you're still in a cast, but you're like, hey, my upper body's fine, I can still do something, I don't want to just, you know, not do anything the whole time I have a cast on. These kinds of upper body workouts are great. Uh, maybe you're at work and you're stuck in your chair and you don't want anyone to really see you doing it. Perfect. Again, although if you want to do them standing, all of these exercises can be done standing as well. Whew. Now we're going to take a quick break, grab a drink of water if you need to, and I'll go start in on our cool down. Okay, so for our cool down, we're going to go through a series of stretches. We're going to start with a cross stretch, bringing the arm right over in front of the chest and pulling it tight. We're going to hold each of these stretches for about 30 seconds uh, with no break in between. We're just going to go right into the next stretch. And I notice here as I'm pulling my arm across that it's shaking a little bit. So I definitely gave them a good workout. and let's go ahead and do that on the other side. So again, pull it in tight. You should feel stretch all across the arm here. Maybe a little bit in your upper back as well. And I'm also shaking on this side. <laughs> shaking muscles means you've worked them quite hard. And that's a good thing. We just need to give them a reward with a stretch. And then be kind to them tomorrow. We don't want to do another upper body workout tomorrow. You're going to do a tricep stretch, so left arm up, bend it down, and push it down. So I'll turn sideways so you can sort of see here. I'm trying to get my fingers down between my shoulder blades there. You don't have to get all the way down. That's what you're aiming for, is stretching down. And now I'm going to switch off to the right side, so I'll swivel all the way around, put my right arm up, pull down on the elbow, try and get those fingertips in between my shoulder blades there. Nice deep breaths now. Next up, we have a chest expansion, so I'm going to take my hands behind my back here, stretch them back, and I'm even going to bend over here. Get a little extra, let my arms just sort of fall as far forward as they will, and let my head hang. No stress in my neck. You may feel a little bit in your hamstrings, even seated here. In our last stretch, we're going to take those hands in front, interlock, interlock the fingers and push them through, and arch that upper back and try and create some space between the, those shoulder blades. It's like an upper back stretch here. Sort of with like a cat back, rounded really far back. It's our last stretch. That's it for our seated upper body workout. I hope that you liked it, and I hope you'll come and see me again soon.
To keep up to date with the latest workouts, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click like on Facebook. Have a workout request? Send it at gosimply.ca slash contact.